Ullers are very much out of position, so we're gonna look for that. He just jumped towards the purple. He's close enough for me to ult. There he is. So that's a double win for me. What is up, beautiful people? It's Saladin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Thor in the jungle. Company here by what looks like a Isis in mid and uh, hell in solo lane, surprisingly. We're playing again what looks like a Nemesis. No, never mind. Nemesis in solo lane. Look at that. So is it mm, Hercules? Hercules in the jungle. That's going to be fun. Thor. We have Hawk. We're going to use it on the blue buff. Hopefully, hell is going to pay attention. Uh, the reason we have Hog, the clear on Thor was kind of nerfed and people all of a sudden decided like, well, that's a bad character. But if you do this, his clear doesn't suffer and you are still going through the early game very, very fast. As you can see, Hercules just hit level two. That means we're gonna attempt to try and take this. And we also quite succeed with that. He wastes his blink. Uh, we can smack each other. I have more power because of my passive. He doesn't realize that. He was looking for a stun, so we turned. And looks like Nemesis getting soloed, while at the same time our dual lane is getting killed, which is nice. So yeah, Thor, still one of the best junglers in the game. In case you missed it, it's just the same... Same problem with the Kokolkin, the video that I uploaded just recently. Uh, he got a couple uh, nerfs and all of a sudden people decided like, well, I'm not going to play this anymore. He's not the best character in the game anymore. So I can't really play him. He's not effective. Well, he's not as effective. He is still very much effective. And I'm pretty sure that this game is going to prove that. Especially with a Habwa in mid. It should be pretty easy gank for me. He's poking out Isis and keeps his distance, which is nice. Probably he warded this part of the jungle. Good for him. Looks like I'm gonna have to pay a lot of attention to the solo lane because we have held there for some reason. And yeah, have you guys seen the patch notes? The changes in the patch notes? God damn, the mid-season patch is gonna be huge. There's so many changes, new items and everything. I'm definitely going to play through uh, the new item builds. I already have some theory crafting in my head. And they replaced Massim Massamine with the new maces. They made a new crit item that has anti-heal. Just so much. I think it's a bit of overkill. It feels like Hunter's going to be very strong uh, in the mid-season patch, but... Really not sure just yet until we test it, but there are certain items that make you think that, hmm, Hunters can have it all, you know? He can, uh, he wants pen, he gets pen. He wants anti-heal, gets anti-heal. But at the same time, there's a big dent in the penetration. They resort to the penetration system of the magic uh, type. So now we have percentage in every item instead of having a few items that provide you with penetration. At one point, it kind of like better because it's healthier. You have the penetration spread out across different things. I'm gonna try an ult here. I'll attack. Yeah, they're doing for the red buff. We're gonna steal that. Yeah, I, I knew he's about to ult. I sh was sure that he's gonna pop me up. So I was kind of scared there to get popped up. To get stunned by Hercules and ulted by Hercules and Habwa. But he wastes his ult and now he's dead. That's a double stun with diminishing returns. I don't think we can kill him here. So we just need to fall back here. But yeah, I kind of wanted that ult out first before I go on him. Don't have mana to go on these boys and Ulr is alone there. He's zoning and he doesn't want me to gank, which is totally understandable. He's in control of the lane and getting the XP. Meanwhile, our hell is getting dumped again. Cannot yet pay a lot of attention to that lane just yet, so she will just have to struggle. And she's getting soloed. It's not like she's getting uh, ganked by jungler and it's my fault. 
she's straight up getting destroyed in her lane and that's a solo lane if you can solo lane then don't go solo lane especially don't pick some dumb character to do that let's see i can maybe catch her she just dashed but instead held back off for the buff which is understandable but that releases the control over the lane she's not around she's going for her blue that's how we put clear get a totem okay we blocked her off that's her shield she still has a dash this is all times bad yeah if she has d i cannot open that just yet that was a big waste of time she's still going in let's see we have our cooldowns didn't have yeah <laughs> i cannot do here anything oh she ults me for some reason that was not the play my man but like at least we got an ult off of her i'm gonna back right here just just it's pointless that was a huge waste of time and yeah hell looks like is going down yet again meanwhile hercules successfully ganking the dual lane is what i should have been doing so yeah the new penetration in the midsummer patch right uh, it's just different now the variety is there it's not like basically what happens now you need penetration what you build if you're uh attack damage carry you build executioner if you're uh, ability attack damage you build titan's bane that's about it that's that's it and it's really unhealthy that you have like literally only two options to do that you get get some mild flat pen from other items but it's not really worth it before if you have a problem with a solo lane or tank you just go for that titan's bane oh looks like she's out of position if we blink properly i can kill her can still get her oh really i was so confident that this is gonna kill her unfortunate but like i said before you have two item options for penetration and it's really unhealthy now you're gonna have like seven six some of the items gonna have like 20 percent uh, pen and you just get variety you know if you have certain builds you can put those penetration items in the build so you get that penetration gradually uh, despite like you having problem with the uh, tank or solo lane or not so it should be a lot more healthier hercules is out of position they didn't lock him down i don't think i can chase and he's pretty full hp so there's no reason but let's see maybe hub was coming in nope that's just a wasted ult got some poke but that's about all i got bad ult not a big deal You're insane. meanwhile hell is getting solid again Hercules is in mid. We're trying to block him out. Successfully too. Another change that's going to happen in the patch. Uh, this thing is not going to be three hits, which is nice. Uh, it's a big time dump. Constantly swinging three times for everything here. And certain gods have better swing. Like they have a dog with Orlang Shang. They have different passive or like attack chain patterns so it's easier for them and it's harder for the different characters isis just used her beats which is very cool and yeah so just make it one hit that's pretty plausible like it, it makes it even for everybody which is nice i'm gonna try and put some control in the nemesis here because she's just been straight up a bully he healed up through all of her shield which is unfortunate but since we got the pressure, we're gonna try. Yeah, yeah, she's laughing. Let's see how you're laughing now without your blue buff. I'm gonna secure our blue buff just to make sure that she does not invade and get the totem while we're at it so she won't get any bit of control. Oh, here's the Hercules. I'm gonna clear that very fast and just back off. Yeah, not, not looking for a fight here. Uh, Nemesis is much stronger than this hell. She's level 11, which is the highest on the field. And I don't want to fight that. I just want to get the control. Oh, never mind. 
This hell is gonna die to whoever. I should stop spending time in the solo lane and focus on other lanes that actually do well. There's a fight in mid. We're ulting. They're doing mid, so we're ulting there immediately. Hmm. She didn't reach with her ult. That's unfortunate. But that's gonna be a stun, and we're gonna get a kill. I still have a blink, so I'm looking for Hercules. That's a pop up. Herc is far, and he can heal, so we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna die them. That would be stupid. Forward tips. Uh, in case you didn't notice, I knew they're going for the mid camps there. And you just immediately look that way. Then the uh, everything you need to do is just assign the depth of the jump. And basically, they hear you ult, but they don't quite always expect you to jump immediately. Um, Ula is out of position. We're going to try and dump that. There was... It might not be an issue. Attack the gold fury. Enemy missing middle. Attack the gold retreat. That was still a good gank. Oh, hello. What you doing? He really wants me. And he almost got me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They got us in the first half. And look at my duel lane not even turning. They didn't notice anything. Now they're gonna get dumpstered by Hercules. Oh, he's still chasing me. That's good. That's good. That gives them some room. But they still are not aware that Hercules is behind them. So, like I was saying, when you ult, you just look into the direction that you plan to land immediately. You just reassign the depth really fast and just dump immediately. And that is a very good ult. Like, if you look here, I just do that, boom. I was looking where I wanted to be, make sure that I land properly. Oh, hello, Hubba. I'm dead here. Yeah, he's gonna ult. Yeah. We are top damage and 4 kill participation out of 7, which is over 50%. But still kinda underwhelming to be honest. I was expecting a better game from Thor. Still doing alright. We're ahead in terms of gold and XP as a team, but hell really puts us down. Uh, we got the mid tower. I'm still willing to gank the nemesis but i'm not sure that anything good is gonna happen here let's block her out that's a lot of damage i guess her shield was down so that was pretty good we're definitely diving here good three people we had to kill her but like we got it and we get the tower off of it because the wave is here very unfortunate pick for a solo for them because yeah she can win like that but she, her push sucks so much that hell even being completely behind just was able to out push and secure the tower for this whole time being five deaths and you know. oh unfortunately we lost isis while we were doing that but one for one trade plus a tower i guess plus some control for the hell in the lane and Nemesis was pretty huge, so that kill was worth it. Would be nice to look at the Gold Fury, but they secured the Oracles. So I'm just gonna back here for, for Transcendence. We're definitely popping Transcendence here. We're gonna get that CDR when it upgrades, and then we're definitely going for Heart Seeker. As you can see, I already started Tier 1 of it. Despite us not having 4 damaging abilities, Heart Seeker is still very strong. A lot of power, flat penetration, we get this percentage damage. Just overall, very powerful item. I tend to build my junglers, um, most of all offensively, so I rarely ever have hybrid builds, more like when I'm just testing things. I usually tend to go either full power or full power one defensive item, usually a hybrid one too. And Heartseeker is pretty mo probably in most of the builds of my junglers, especially the ability based ones. Um, I see Hercules in the dual lane, let's pop his speed. It should be up, we have control over it. And just keep him upset, you know. <laughs> keep the control of his mind. An enemy has been slain. There's a good fight happening in dual lane. We can join that now okay. that we secured most of their jungle. Okay. There's Hercules coming in. Hmm. We're not gonna get in there. That'll be stupid. 
Uh, Nemesis is proxying the wave. Let's pop him a little bit. And just back off. He still reached me with that, huh? We don't need to chase Hercules here. I'd rather just find Habwa. He should be around. I think he bagged. He was pretty low. Yeah, he did. There he is, a mid. Nemesis is still proxying. Hell is still helpless about it. Just get some poke. Very good poke, actually. He wastes his three, so if I blink in... Ooh, damn. Ha! He wasn't able to get me. He didn't have his stun. Important thing to notice that we got Transcendence and if the lane is available, oh getting stacks is very important. We already have 27 and we just built it, so that's pretty good. Ooh, he got me smokes. What are we gonna do about it? This nemesis proxying the wave for four waves and the best you can get is a small camp. Oh, right. Ulro is not paying attention to the opponent, so they got a free gold. We got an ult into three people. I was not able to block them away. Inside the tower range was an unfortunate. Ooh, double stun. Chasing the nemesis here. She, she's pretty dead. Why does she have beats? Why would a solo laner get beats? That's unfortunate, but we still get her. That's a, an axe. And that's a bunch of kills. Blocking him off. He's about to ult, so I don't want to be very close to that. Looking for an ult. There's an ult. And he's dead. Yeah, that was very obvious. <laughs> oh, I can not blink through. So I just didn't want to get poked by that. He wouldn't kill me, but... Just going for the fire giant right now would have been a little bit more dangerous. We're back in for full heart seeker, which is nice. I wish we didn't let go of that gold fury. That was unfortunate play. Nothing in the jungle. I guess we're gonna pop these smalls. Ullers are very much out of position, so we're gonna look for that. He just jumped towards the purple. He's close enough for me to ult. There he is. So that's a double win for me. We got the combo off and we got his beats because we blocked him properly and he didn't go the way he should have. That's a Habwa. That's a lot of poke on him. It's almost half HP. Looking for me. He's going for the mid lane. We cut him off, but there's a word here. So we're gonna join that fight. Damn it, I didn't blink through. I guess my hammer was inside my wall. That's unfortunate. But we're still getting the tower off of that. I should not be tanking this. Hello, what you doing? Nemesis and Hell are still in solo lane. Both of them are not aware what should be doing. Oh, good poke on Ulr. He should be deterred from entering that fight anymore. We need one more stack for full transcendence and some 30% CDR. Mm, I was pretty confident that this is up. I guess someone else secured it for Hercules. At least they get the timer off of it, although he doesn't get the buff yet again. She's pretty fast and she's pretty spooked, so we can catch her. I'm not gonna ult her because there's no need for that. Okay, we're definitely ulting now. That was the plan. Hello. We should go for the fire giant here. It's pretty straightforward. Fortunately, Isadult is not here, so the secure might be a problem. But as far as I'm concerned, the enemy team is not present, so it should be fine. Oh, she still got an ult. It just got off cooldown. That's great. A bad ult though, but we still got the damage off of it to make it faster, I guess, and some healing for the enemy for the team. So, whatever. 
like I said, there was nobody on the enemy team to secure, so it doesn't really matter. She might have actually hold on to it. We're gonna back here for... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess. Uh, we get, we should have backed here for Shifter Shield and probably some Brawler's Beast Stick because the healing on the Hercules and Nemesis Shield is very unfortunate, but we didn't need to. We're done here. So, in terms of builds, uh, we are 13 kills participation out of 17, which is very, very much optimal. Now, comparatively to the enemy jungle, who is 6 kills participation out of 11 and builds... I don't know what the hell he builds. I guess he goes for one-shot build when you just stun and then whop his molly ass with the hydras. But he doesn't have power to do that, and, well, that's not how it works. You first want to build power in this thing if you want to go this wanky build. And then you go Hydras, but he goes Hydras, and then he goes uh, Hybrid Items, which is entirely wrong and defeats the point of the having Hydras in the first place. As to my build, it's pretty straightforward. I'm building Attack Speed Boots, which might grind some gears, but this is the Boots right now. They're gonna buff it for 100 mana, and the Power Boots still gonna suck, so you're still gonna build Attack Speed Boots, because... 25 attack speed is insane and it is way 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 more than 20 extra power that you can get for power boots like 25 attack speed and 20 power are not even remotely close attack speed dwarves that so you always go attack speed boots even on the gods like thor because it's just that strong transcendence for the power and cooldown jodens wrath obviously because we're starting mace actually right now you cannot do that but like only for the gods that actually benefit from uh, move speed you can start off katana because now it's cheaper and gets more power so it's even with the mace start so now you don't have to start the mace all the time but for Thor, it's still the cookie cutter. You go Jodan's uh, first item, it's very effective on Thor and other ability-based junglers. Transcend is for the power, Heart Secret for the power, Shifter Shield for the power, and a little passive to for survivability when you get low in HP. Uh, probably Beat Stick instead, I would actually go there. Shifter Shield would be the sixth item, and the Beat Stick would have been the next item because they have Nemesis that heals with the Shield, Horus heals. Habwa goes into Life Steal, um, which is stupid. Hercules uh, also heals Ulr, might build Asi, considering he has Transcendence, it's not a uncommon thing, and then he would also be affected by Beatstick. And in terms of damage, I am not top on the field. Oh uh, no, I am actually top on the field, yeah, Izzet is right behind me. So, comparatively to the enemy jungler, I out damage him by a very significant amount, uh, 6k on top of him. Our solo laner is definitely getting destroyed, um, but like not as seriously as I actually destroy the enemy jungle. Obviously, Nemesis is whacking a character that can heal, so she racks up a pretty good number and she's top on the enemy team, but that doesn't do anything. Because despite her proxy in the waves, she wasn't present anywhere else. Yeah, she defeated the lane, but she cannot outpush because it's hell, even though she's very much behind. And she's not rotating towards other lanes, which she should have been done. And if she did, it might have been worse for us. But the way she played it out, she was just stuck proxying the wave, just being an asshole. And not really affecting anything else on the game so that's like a moot point for her to win the lane and when we won the rest of the game we just came to her lane destroyed her destroyed the towers got all the lane and just won the game and as far from the chat lobby i can tell that she was also toxic for it she's one of those fans that just got banned as a whole community congratulations to that achilles comparatively our supports to the enemy horus our damages him over double the amount horus just got mini skill damage very very low but comparatively to the enemy adc i was not expecting to see that that's just 3k in 20 minutes really uh pff, well not like our ruler did uh so much better he doubles the amount but it's still 7k in 20 minutes you know so surprisingly both of our adcs are the lowest on the team and lowest on the field damage. Uh, RZ doing an amazing job. She's the second reason why we actually won this game. Good stuns, good CC. Overall, great character. Have no fucking idea why people don't play her. She's so goddamn underrated. Why did people just stop playing her? Over double the amount of the enemy mid laner in terms of damage. She even got some player healing going. Actually, pretty significant amount considering how little our hell healed. So, and in terms of warding, 
I put down a substantial amount, nothing spectacular here, should have put down more really. On the enemy team, everybody put down substantial amount, surprisingly the support put down the least, which is bad. But yep, the guy with the lowest damage on the field at least was putting down wars like mad, but I was ganking him, but apparently he wasn't warding on the gold fury, but warding on the walk up, and you should ward against the jungler that you're playing against. I would never walk up to him, I just ult through the gold fury pit. And if you word that, you're always aware. On our team, no surprise here, Hell has zero fucking words. She she could have face roll on the keyboard and put down a substantial amount, at least two or three. She didn't even do that. And unfortunately, Isis, despite the good gameplay, also zero word coverage in the middle lane, which is pretty bad. But overall, yeah, that will be a Thor game, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Really stoked about the Midsummer patch. It's a lot of changes. It's gonna shift and shake up the meta a little bit. Because as per usual, in the mid Midsummer, it gets pretty stale. So they introduced these new changes. Also, the, the Avatar surprise is really, really cool. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a lot of traction and advertisement for the game, which is nice. A lot of new people gonna come. And, you know, the positive shifts in toxicity of the community and banning of certain people is very much welcome and been a long time coming. And hopefully, guys, you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring that notification bell. It helps the YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people. It's much appreciated. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. It has the same idea and purpose and it's super free, so hopefully it doesn't cost you anything. And if you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. I respond to every single comment on my channel. And as always, hope to see you in the next video, guys. Have a wonderful day.